Now what this table does is called an XY table. It's also called a T table. What it does is it lets us know some of the points. And as it ends up, whenever you have a zero as one of the coordinates of your points, that is a very important point. And you'll learn about that too soon. Right now we're at the very beginning of your studies on graphing lines. Okay, well, for the first point, we're told that the x-coordinate is zero and we're being asked to find the y-coordinate. This is how you do it. You take the equation you're given, 6x plus 7y equals 42, and you take that zero and you put it in for the x, and then you solve for y. So 6 times zero plus 7 times y equals 42. 6 times 0 is 0. So we're going to say 7y equals 42. Then divide both sides by 7 to get the y by itself. And we'll have y equals 6. So now we know that if x is 0, y is 6. And what that does is it gives us the point 0. 6. This point with a 0 in that position is called the y-intercept. That's the point where the line, the graph of the line, is going to cross the y-axis. You'll see all this in just a little while. For the next point, we're told that the y-coordinate is 0, and we're being asked to find the x-coordinate. So um, we're going to have 6x plus 7 times 0 equals 42. 7 times 0 is 0, so we'll have 6x equals 42 then divide by 6 and divide by 6 and what do you get? You get x equals 7. So when y is 0, x is 7. The point 7, 0 with a 0 in the second position is called the x-intercept. And this is the point at which the line crosses the x-axis. The third point we're asked to find is one in which the x-coordinate is 14. So let's come over here and we'll have 6 times 14 plus 7y equals 42. Now 6 times 14, 6 times 4 is 24, carry the 2, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8. We'll have 84 plus 7y equals 42. Now subtract 84 from both sides of the equation, or add negative 84, same thing we'll have 7y equals negative 42. Then when we divide both sides by 7, we'll get y equals negative 6. So if x is 14, y is negative 6. Now let's put these numbers in. If x is 0, y is 6. If y is 0, x is 7. And if x is 14, y equals negative 6. Let's see if that's right. Yes, it is.